Uh, we gathered all the different timescales from different people and we wanted to try and find a way of representing them all alongside the great big numbers of the Jurassic Coast of the Mesozoic period. So the idea was to try and find something that wasn't a pictorial representation because that's suggestive, suggestive of something in the past, but something that was hand-operated and mechanical, and that would only be would only exist through being manipulated and, ha and happening live. So, um, so we gathered all the numbers, and we we happened upon this musical box, which seemed like a perfect opportunity because of the way that the score is placed. So it's a long strip of paper, a musical score. To, um, to do some mathematical equations, which we did. We converted everybody's timelines into minutes, which was the, the smallest number that we had, smallest time frame. And then we um, applied a logarithm of 53, which is 26 and 27 added together, to get all the numbers squashed down, but still of relative value. Otherwise, they'd have been in the billions. And, um, and we had between 0 0.25 and 19. And then we used the score, which is... Um, the musical box has got two and a, is two and a half octaves, which is 20 notes, and we had 20 timelines. So we gave every person a note, and we punched um, every 19th, if the number was 19th, every 19th line, we punched a note, and we did that for each, for each one. And so we have kind of achieved what we really hoped to have, actually, without knowing that that's the form it would take. So we've got a kind of expressive form of all those timelines set against the geological timeline and it's hand operated because it's a very harmonic little box you end up with a very sweet sound but you can very very clearly distinct uh, distinguish the the lower notes of the jurassic and i think that kind of gives it a bit of weight as a piece of music and also because it's a pattern it's repetitive which i think probably appeals to most people's ear i love the fact that the math sounds dry and complex i love that and i, I didn't want to alter describing it in the presentation in order to make it sound more, I don't know, more manageable, because that's the manageable bit. The manageable bit is the piece of music. The maths are just the maths. And actually, it's not that complex. You don't have to understand a logarithm to be able to put that into a computer and arrive at those numbers. Um, it's, just, it's just really good fun to have something that dry come out with, with something so sweet. And I think that's the, is that, unex, you know, it's quite unexpected. Actually, so I think that's one of the reasons why people it really appeals to people. Then when we chose to do the names, we just thought we've got all these strips of paper, we want to do something live. We obviously can't do something as complex as all the maths in the event, but we could take words or names that are meaningful to people and, and write them out in punched holes and, and just see what happens. And of course, you know, people like to hear something that's related to them, so it's, it's very beautiful. It is very beautiful. You know, and it's not to do with having a skill in playing a musical instrument. And I love that as well. So anybody can do that. And they can do their own version of it. They can play it really fast and play it really slow. They can change it. They can turn it around the other way. And anybody can punch that hole. So it's, um, so it's, it, it's a very musical thing without necessarily having to have the skill of a musician. That said, I think the more we do, the more we're starting to realise what the patterns are and you can start to make choices with it. So we now know that a lowercase e is a really nice little cluster of sounds and it does start to sound a tiny bit more discordant than the uppercase done right across the strip of the 20, 20 notes. So the more we're doing now, the more we're sort of starting to find um, new things to do with it, which I think is really good. And the other thing that we haven't done yet, which we can do, is we can we can um, put these strips together, we can sellotape them together, which we haven't done. And Freddie Miller's um, amount of time was, was, was the word elastic. And right from the beginning, I chose not to put it in on the basis that we would get Freddie's in there by virtue of the fact that we could play this over and over and we could change it. And I thought, I can't reduce hers down to a number because the whole point is that she didn't want a number. So now we can, we can play with a form and that can be the elastic that comes into it. And we've had quite a lot of kids play it, which I'm really chuffed about, because that was the point of putting it low down, was so that they could get their hands on it, their grubby little mitts. <laughs>